the Kawai NV5, the latest addition to the Kawai Novus line. Today we're going to be looking at one of my favorite showings from the NAMM 2020 show. I'm really excited to show you guys what it has to offer. Stay with us. Patrick Marr with Owl Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. Find us on the web at owlmusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channels and like our videos. If you want to, leave comments for us, and uh, we love hearing from you guys and, and taking suggestions from you. Today, we're going to be looking at one of my favorite pro products. Uh, it's the Kawai NV5. Um, this is part of the Novus line. So Kawai had introduced the NV10. We've done a video on that before. Um, and coming soon, we're actually going to do a comparison video of the two. Um, but this is part of that Novus line. It's called the NV5. Um, it's a hybrid piano. So what does hybrid mean? Um, I know a lot of people have done research on digital pianos. We've done a lot of videos on digital pianos. Um, and it kind of uh, is something that is, is for everybody. It's, it's, uh, um, and this is digital pianos. It's something for everybody. It's something that fits in your home, something that's easy to move around with two people, um, and something that has, doesn't need maintenance, doesn't need tuning, things like that. Um, but today we're going to be looking at a hybrid piano. So it differs a little bit. Um, and so what is that hybrid technology? And so I'm going to go straight into it. It's, um, it's got a piano action in it. And so um, a lot of the times piano teachers, um, if you look at forums on the web, a lot of times people are like, you can't mimic the action of a piano. Um, and so with hybrid pianos, they don't try to mimic the, the action of a piano. They actually put the action in there. Um, so we're going to show you a couple pictures of that action. It's called the Millennium 3 action, and it's for the hybrid, um, the hybrid pianos in Kawhi's line. Um, the NV10 and the NV5 both have it. Um, the NV5s is actually replicating an upright piano action. So you have a little slimmer profile um, within the NV5. Um, but what's really cool about these actions, um, and one of the reasons digital pianos struggle to mimic a piano action, um, there's over 6,000 parts. Um, so you, I know you see 88 keys. You're like, oh, there's 88 keys. Maybe it's got a couple parts on the end. There's actually 6, 000, over 6,000 parts. That's 68 parts, a little bit over 68 parts a key. Um, so there's a lot going on um, within a piano action. And that's why it's very hard to replicate that um, in a digital, small, slim profile instrument. Um, so the Millennium 3 action is very cool. Um, it uses ABS. Um, carbon, and so there's a lot of carbon fiber in this action, um, which not only uh, is a long-lasting element, but it also uh, is a faster, uh, more precise element um, versus wood, traditional wood actions in pianos. Um, and so that ABS carbon fiber um, goes throughout the piano. Um, there's over a thousand pieces of carbon fiber in that action. Um, and one of the coolest ones is the graded hammers. Um, so the graded hammers are what usually, traditionally on a piano, strike the string. Um, and so these hammers um, the ABS hammers in your hybrid instrument are going to be going over an optic sensor. Um, and so very precise mechanisms here. Um, we're looking at top of the line um, technology, but uh, the, the hammer, which is made of ABS, again, um, a faster um, alternative to wood, uh, is, is what's striking the optic sensor, which is going to trigger your sound. So a lot, a lot of technology at play here, but really it's just trying to bring an acoustic action to you in a digital way, um, which, which is very, I think, one of the coolest, um, newest things in the piano world. Um, you don't get tripped up on, do I need to buy acoustic? Do I need to buy digital? Yes, and this does both. Um, so the Millennium Action is one of the coolest things about this. Um, I also want to talk about uh, uh, the sound system that you actually get from this. So Onkyo and Kawhi come together and they make their soundboard sound system. Um, we're going to show you some pictures of this too. Um, it's a piece of wood on the back of the instrument. Um, very, very cool. Uh, wood is um, the natural soundboard, um, the natural speaker of most instruments. If you're looking at violins, if you're looking at guitars, um, if you're looking at acoustic pianos, wood is what your sound is where your sound comes from. The string gets uh, struck and the, and the wood starts to vibrate. Um, and so what is going on here with the, so the soundboard speaker system um, is the transducer is, is 
passing that sound onto the soundboard, and the soundboard is vibrating, and you get that very acoustic, warm sound of a piano. So there's already two things about this hybrid instrument that are closer to an acoustic instrument than they are to a digital piano. Um, and that's kind of why hybrid technology is, is taking off. It's not going away. It's actually um, bridging the gap between having to choose acoustic. Um, and, and some of the problems with acoustic is maintenance. You have to tune a piano um, at least once a year. Um, this never needs to be tuned. Um, so what else, what else does it have to offer? Um, it has the full digital um, profile of their CA series. So you have a beautiful left cheek block um, that is isn't a touch screen. We're going to get into that here in a little bit, but um, a touch screen with all your controls in it. Um, and you're able to do a whole bunch of cool stuff that you'd never be able to do on acoustic instrument. You can record with it first off. That's a lot of fun. Um, then you can also uh, adjust parameters. There's 19 parameters and you become the technician. You become the virtual technician. So what does a brighter piano start to sound like? What does a darker action or darker, a darker piano um, or a, a, a harder action, a lighter action? These are all little tiny parameters you can adjust um, to really make it uh, a unique personal instrument to you um, without having to hire a technician at a very costly hourly rate to fix your piano for you. Um, so really cool, um, re real cool features within that digital system. It also has the SK SKEX rendering system, um, which is Kawai's Shiguru Kawai, um, their premium, premium piano. Uh, retail is like $260,000 on it. It's this incredible instrument that they have a complete rendering of. Um, and you're able to adjust those parameters on that, on that instrument. And that's what we're going to be listening to in a little bit. There's, there's 10 presets on that piano, and it kind of voices it for you differently um, and, and adjusts different parameters. We're going to listen to those. It's a beautiful sounding instrument. Um, and so we're going to be listening to that, uh, playing with it, and uh, showing you some of those cool features. Um, the, other, the other thing I want to talk about is just the design of this. It's very, uh, very sleek, very modern looking. Um, you get black and chrome. Uh, polished ebony, but the chrome decal, the chrome petals, um, something a little bit more modern than traditional brass um, and satin. Uh, it also is very sleek. It's about 18 inches depth. Um, a, an acoustic upright, you're looking at at least about 24 inches. So you're, you're shaving off half a foot right there. So this is going in a tight space. Um, it definitely, uh, it's definitely going to fit, which is nice. Um, it also ships to you in a box. Um, and we've just, we just actually uh, demonstrated that it can be done by one person unloading, um, but we do recommend at least two people moving it around. Um, but the box does fall apart in a way where you can um, get it set up with one person and moved around with two people. Um, it weighs about 249 pounds. Um, so again, much lighter than an acoustic instrument, and you don't have to worry about it going out of tune after you move it. Um, it kind of uh, fits a nice, a nice in-between between that acoustic and digital. Um, again, hybrid technology is, I, I believe, uh, the future of pianos. Um, and that's one of, one of Kawhi's visions as well. Um, so I just, I think it's a really cool instrument. We're going to listen to it here in a second and, and look at some of the features. But if you guys have any questions or comments, um, this is a brand new instrument. And we're going to be doing an NV5 versus NV10 video here. Um, and that will come out uh, probably a little bit after this video. Um, but yeah, keep, keep looking for that um, and take a listen to this with us. Um, we're really excited about it. Again, please reach out to us if you have any questions about it or if you want to see anything particular about it. Um, again, we're going to listen here.
Not only does the NV5 sound like a nine foot grand piano, it feels like a real acoustic instrument. It's very cool and I highly recommend you trying it out um, or even purchasing one because I, I have no, no issues with this piano. I think it's one of the, one of the best buys, one of the best bargains. Um, again, it's, it's beautiful, beautifully designed. It has great features, but not only that, it can become a beautiful Bluetooth speaker. Um, that's not something we really talked about, but you can interface this with your phone, with your favorite songs, and play it like it's a, a high quality six speaker uh, system, sound system, in your living room. Um, so not only is it beautiful and functional as an acoustic slash digital piano, it also is a beautiful sound system. Um, one of my favorite features. I, I, I know a lot of people who will put their iPad up and they'll watch a YouTube video um, and actually listen to the song being played out of the speakers um, and play along with it. So just really cool technology here. There's a lot you can do with it um, to make it your own, um, which is one of the, the one of the greatest reasons I can think of um, why this should be an instrument that should be an option for you. Um, so again, I'm Patrick with Alamo Music Center, um, San Antonio, Texas. If you're ever down, come say hi to us. Um, you can find us on the web at alamomusic.com. We always have someone available via chat. So ask any questions. They'll get you in contact with the right person. Um, and we'd love to catch up and talk about musical instruments anytime you want. Um, and thank you guys again. Please subscribe, like our videos, um, and comment if you, if you have any suggestions for us and, uh, and want to see anything else. Thanks again.